Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 13 and in this video I want to talk to you guys about arrays okay so basically an array is a variable that we can use to store a group of data all represented under one variable name okay so you can think of an array as a collection of variables and then if we ever want to store like a list or a group of related data we can use an array and then we only have to deal with one variable name whenever we want to work with our variables okay so before if I wanted to make a list of say five cars okay I'd have to go ahead and uh, make a variable for each car so var car one and then I could set that equal to uh, Ferrari and then I'd go okay okay car two and then I'd have to set that equal to something and then at car three car four car five uh, so to just get like tedious you'd actually have to uh, write out five lines of code to store each of the variables okay and it'll just get quite messy so rather what we can do is we can actually use a, an array to store all five car names okay so first of all let's take a look at how to make an array and what we do is we just type in the keyword var whoops okay and then we type in our array name so I want to call my array name cars because I'm going to store a list of five car names and then I set that equal to new array okay and you have to type the words new array whenever you want to make an array otherwise it's not going to work and a has to be a capital for array okay if you use a small letter it's not going to work okay and then what I do is I put in two parentheses and I can end that off with a semicolon cool so effectively what I've done here is I've declared a new array okay that is the technical term for this line of code uh, if you're ever writing a JavaScript exam or a JavaScript test and they ask you what this is then you have to say this is I've declared a new array okay or this is called declaring an array so now that we have this array what we can do now is I can actually store five values in this array by just typing them up here in the parentheses so I can go ahead and uh, the first one can be Ferrari and then the next one can be Porsche okay and make sure to separate each one of your values with a comma okay so Porsche then uh, I can go ahead and say Jaguar and then uh, Lamborghini and the last one can be McLaren okay cool so now we've got five car names or five values all stored under one variable called cars so that means that our cars variable consists of five values and each one of these values is called an element okay so Ferrari would be our first element then Porsche would be our second element and Jaguar would be the third and so on okay so now if I wanted to print this out onto the screen what I can do is I can say document dot write and I can print out just our variable cars but what that's gonna do is it's gonna print out our entire array so it's gonna start from Ferrari and print all the way through to McLaren if we go ahead and save that and uh, and run that in Firefox then you'll see that we get our entire array printed out on the screen 
Okay, but how do we break that down to work with an individual array element? So let's say I only wanted to print out the element Ferrari. Okay, well, what I can do then is I can use an array index. Now, what an array index is, is that's basically the position of the element inside of the array. So, like Ferrari would be in the first position, and then Porsche is in the second position. Okay, that's what we have to do now. We have to tell JavaScript, okay, we just want to work with the first element inside of our array. Okay, and to do that, you add in these two little square brackets, and in here, you put in the number of the element in the array that you want to work with. Okay, so you would think because Ferrari is the first element that that must be one. So let me go ahead and put one in here and then I'll save this and we can refresh this in Firefox and see what we get. Okay, and what the heck? Porsche? We didn't want Porsche. Porsche is the second element. We wanted Ferrari. Okay, the reason why this happened is because when we're working with arrays our computer starts counting at zero instead of one so like people would look at this and go okay well this is one two three four javascript looks at this and goes okay this is zero one two three four so if i wanted to print out the first element in my array i'd have to start with zero so let's go ahead and just put a zero in there and then go ahead and save that. And now when I go ahead and click refresh, you can see the word Ferrari is printed out on the screen. So that's much better. Okay. And just like if I wanted to print out the third element in my array, let's go ahead and see here. We'd go zero, one, two. Okay. That's the third element, Jaguar but we start counting from zero. So zero, one, two, I'd have to print out number two. Go ahead and save that, and we go ahead and click refresh. Then we've got Jaguar printed out on the screen. Okay, so that's basically how arrays work. And let's recap for just a second, okay? So what we did at the top of our page was we declared a new variable but our variable is actually an array which can store more than one value inside of this variable cause okay so what we then did was we stored our five variables each of these variables was called an element okay so don't go don't forget that and then we printed out one of the elements on the screen okay but don't forget that whenever we had to print out our variable, we had to use this little thing over here called an array index. And whenever we work with an array index, we start counting at zero. So don't forget that either. Okay, so we'd start counting zero, one, two, three, four. Okay, got it? Good, I hope so, because that's actually all I have time for in this video. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, please like my video, please leave a comment below if you found this helpful, and I will see you guys in the next video.